Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to install a uh, submersible pump in your cistern. And this method will work whether you're using a fiberglass, concrete, plastic, uh, any, any type of tank. The first method that we're gonna go over is uh, utilizing a pitless adapter. This is a pitless adapter. It's used mainly for well applications where you need to penetrate the well casing uh, and still be able to pull the pump out. We use the same method when we're uh, doing concrete cisterns. We wanna make sure we can remove this pump if it ever fails without pumping out the cistern and crawling in there. And the way that we do that is with this pitless adapter. There's this flange fitting. These are all components that would be useful to get a watertight seal on a well casing, but we do not need these for a cistern application. Instead, we just need this two-part component here. This is, the, this is the side that will continue the water line to the house. So this will be the house side of the pitless adapter. There's a one inch female threads in here, but then if you put your finger in there, uh, it, there's, there's nothing, it stops right there. That is gonna be the, the side that faces uh, ground level. That's, that's, that will face you if you're looking into the cistern. The other side has a hex head on there to be able to tighten a fitting. Uh, and you'll notice that this is also threaded with one inch female threads, but it loops around. And if you stick your finger through, you can see it on the other side here. So this is gonna be the side that faces your pump. We would hard plumb, we'd stick a, an insert fitting in here and some polyethylene pipe, heat the ends of the pipe up push this on to the insert fitting on the pump, push it onto the insert fitting here, and now it's hard plumbed. And the way this works is this blank side on the top, what we would do is from outside the tank, we'd stick a one inch threaded rod down in the tank, thread it into the top of here. And with that rod, we can pull up and separate this fitting here. And it just slides right up. The pump is still plumbed up. With that connected with the one inch rod in here, we're able to pull the whole pump pipe and pitless assembly out of the tank for to either switch it out if it went bad or to, to maintain it. To place it back in the tank then, you use that same one inch threaded rod. This sleeve fits neatly into this component and you push it back down. It's, it's helpful to put a little silicone on there to lubricate it push it back down. Once it's seated at the bottom, just take a hammer and, and lightly tap the one inch threaded rod and you'll seat that in there. And once it's in, it is a pressure tight fitting. So this is a great way to install your pump using a pitless adapter for easy removal. The other method we're gonna talk about is installing a pump in either a fiberglass or a plastic uh, cistern. The connections, the, the pipe that we use is a little different we're gonna set it up using PVC. It's best to use PVC in a plastic tank because there's give in it, but also because we have to penetrate the tank wall somehow. And the easiest way to do that is with our tank penetration gaskets. This is, happens to be a one inch gasket. We're actually gonna use this to make our connection ultimately to the pump and to continue the water line out of the tank. The way this works, we're gonna drill a hole in the side of our cistern that corresponds to this diameter. In this case, it's an inch and three quarter hole. We'll drill that in the outside of the tank, push this into the inch and three quarter hole. Once it's in there, it's a very tight fit, but we make it even tighter by taking our PVC pipe, file down the end of it so that it's a little beveled, put a little lubricant on it, either dish soap or pipe lubricant if you have it, and then push this through the gasket. And as we do that, you'll see that it flares out the backside of this gasket. Once it's flared out, it is a watertight connection going out of the tank. So again, we're using this for plastic or, or fiberglass tanks. From outside the tank, you'll probably want a two by four or a shovel handle or something to be able to leverage this pipe further into the gasket. It, it does help if you file down the end and lubricate it, it helps greatly. But ultimately we want to get this pipe in probably at least six inches, but maybe more. And at that point, we're going to glue in a PVC union because you can, you can separate the fitting um, and put it back together 
without having to cut the pipe or undo any other fittings. We glue in our union, then we get another piece of one inch pipe, glue that into the other end of the union, open up the manhole of the tank, look down, you wanna see this union, have it be accessible, cut enough pipe so that the end of the pipe is directly over the center of the, of the pump here. And then we're gonna put in an elbow, a 90 degree turn. Again, we're gluing it in, dropping this down straight into the top of the pump here. So we glue one more piece of one inch pipe and we have our watertight plumbing connection for the, for the pump in the cistern. The benefit of this is, like the pitless adapter, this union, if we ever need to pull the pump out, we have to reach down in there and unthread this union. And this, of course, will be stationary, but this end will be able to pull out of the tank to access our pump. The final thing I'll note is when you get the water line out of the cistern, what do you do from this point? Do you continue to use PVC or do you adapt to something else? We recommend for poly tanks, adapting as soon as possible to a more flexible polyethylene pipe. This is polyethylene well pipe, 160 PSI rated. And the way we adapt that is with a PVC to insert adapter. We glue that on to the end of the pipe. Again, this is where our tank is. This is where the tank wall is. This is inside the tank. This is outside the tank. We glue on our adapter. We get a roll of polyethylene pipe, heat up the end, fit it onto this insert adapter, put uh, two hose clamps on there. But this will be what you want to bury underground. This is what you want to use to run your water line into the house, ultimately. For the concrete tank, for a for the pitless adapter, usually a concrete tank will have some sort of stainless steel threaded coupling cast into the side wall of the tank, in which case you use a, a pipe nipple to thread into the pitless, then into the, the threaded coupling that's in the side wall of the tank. And then outside of the tank, there, there's also the other end of the threaded coupling. You use an insert adapter, thread that into the, to the threaded coupling, and then heat up your polyethylene pipe and run it to your house. Thank you very much for watching and please remember that all these supplies are available on our website www.rainbrothers.com. We have an online store, we're here to help um, and thank you very much for watching.